Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yeah! Yes, Lord have mercy, everybody. I hope you guys are doing good. So if you guys do not know, it is going crazy right now on Twitter. Umar Johnson and Kevin Samuels are now officially beefing. Kevin Samuels is trending all over Twitter. Now, let me go ahead and break this down, okay? I do not listen to Kevin Samuels. I only know about him because he's gone viral several times for, like, checking women, particularly black women. And basically, from what everybody says, he speaks truth to power. He lets women know about themselves. So for y'all who don't know who Kevin Samuels is, I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these videos of some of these clips that have gone viral of Kevin Samuels taking calls from women callers and basically letting them know about themselves go ahead and check this out i i stopped giving a damn you know i wasn't working as hard i stopped going on runs and things like that um and during that time have you had sex during what time when i was younger during the time where you're during the time you fell off were you having sex at any time during that time yeah for sure you know and uh, that's the problem guys you continue to stick your penis in this that's the problem that's why they can get on the camera and start talking about mediocre men when as big as a planet smoking a cigarette. I mean, I, I did. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? And it's like, okay, I cannot honestly sit back and listen to a woman who's built like the planet ego talk about mediocre men while she's smoking another motherfucking Newport. Are you serious? Many you broke far too many dudes are broke. Cannot pay the cost to be the boss. Cannot pay a hundred percent. Don't have a hundred percent mindset, and you want a hundred percent cooperation with ultimate femininity and submission. You don't get that. No man gets that. That has nothing to do with feminism. That has everything to do with power. Let me say that again. That has nothing to do with feminism. It has everything to do with power. You cannot be an average man wanting women to submit to you and bow down just because you have a penis. Why would anybody want to deal with Let's see. I'm intelligent. I'm motivated. I have my own business. I maintain my own lifestyle. I'm not understanding the full scope of your question. Well, see, that's the problem now, ain't it? You just described yourself as a man. See, you got to understand what the men want. And none, nothing you said in there was anywhere close to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, caring, loving. The way you're talking almost sounds like a dude. Better go back to your husband. That's all you got. Especially in New York. What, what, what part of New York? Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. No, it's done. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. Goodbye. Okay, how much do you weigh? 220. I weigh 210 and I'm six foot four. You broke the first rule. See, you ladies don't mind breaking the rules. The men are visual. The men want women that are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. I don't mind being the size of, I'm sorry, you're five foot eight? I'm five foot eight. You're about the size of Emmett Smith or Barry Sanders was. <laughs> you're a running back size. Okay. You can hit the A gap like a motherfucker. Yeah, all right. I so that. don't come in here and talk about what men should not be able to do when they got to accept uh, somebody who can run out the power eye. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm being silly. This is what black men have to pick from. A woman who says, uh, you're saying that men who make money uh, don't want women or such and so forth. But there aren't a lot of men who make money who are straight. No, they're not looking for your round ass. 
That is why I want you gentlemen to have standards. Stop sticking your penis in fat. I'm going there. Stop having sex with women like that. Because they think because you do it, that means you want to be with them. There's no way in hell you could be 50 years old and that childish. Rolling your eyes all around and this and that and such and so forth. And sir, whoever you are, I'm sorry that that's your wife, but you should be embarrassed. I see you guys just saw that. So on top of that, uh, he also went viral for the whole Sweetie situation when he went on the Lovely Joe Button podcast. And so he was on the podcast. He said that Sweetie was a six and he went viral again. Ish, I want to hear what he has to say about calling Sweetie a six. (laughs) An adjustable six, meaning she can go from cute to pretty. But see, when I judge women, I don't judge them. I judge women by the same metric. Uh, This is where people get into the image consulting thing. I look at you. Fresh face, no makeup, your natural state. And if you have ever seen her pictures, fresh face, natural state, she's a cute woman who can be pretty. But I don't think she's ever going to be considered to be beautiful or gorgeous. That does not mean she's bad, but there has to be a But what if she's already considered beautiful and gorgeous? But he's saying strip away all of the accessories and you get what you get. See... If you go, this is why when I use when I talk about a scale, there's first off there are people who hate the whole notion. There's a scale or there's a Eurocentric standard of beauty. I'm like, look, Pam Greer, go back to the '70s. Pam Greer is an eight. Yes, Jackie but she, Kennedy. But she looks good. But, but the thing is, back then you would have seen someone like Diane Carroll. She's up in that nine category, Dorothy Dandridge would have been up and around that 10 area. There's always going to be levels to this. But what women today are saying is they're all 10s. And, and they don't great. believe that. They don't listen, believe that but this themselves. Is weird. Listen, man. It's PC. If, so idealistically, you can say every woman is a 10, every woman is beautiful. But do you really go home and believe that? Because, no, blah, because blah, blah, if blah, blah, you blah. believe that, you wouldn't be buying a shitload of makeup every fucking day. You wouldn't be take an hour to get dressed before you leave the house making up your face if you thought you were a 10 already. Well, and, and that goes to my, and that's the point I'm going to make. Because people say, well, you can't say this, that. What was like, if, if that's the case, then walk out of the house. Exactly. You are. If you think in your heart of hearts yeah. that you're a 10... I like women that wear makeup and dress fly, man. I don't know what no, we're not even talking about dressing. <laughs> okay, we're but, talking okay, about makeup. But hold on. But make, but guys, makeup has always existed. It has. Mm-hmm. Why did... Why, when you go back in the 70s, did you see women with minimal makeup? They didn't even have veneers and this and that. That was just a natural state. Mm-hmm. Well, now Umar Johnson is definitely feeling away. He feels like Kevin Samuels is taking his talking points and that he's also disrespecting black women. And he's tired of Kevin Samuels and other black men also on social media that are giving advice to black women and being condescending and talking down to them. He feels like it's not right. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what Umar Johnson posted today. Go ahead and check this out. I'm going to speak power and strength into our beautiful African sisters. That's right. I'm going to build you up. And what makes it so bad about these uh, so-called life coaches, some of them actually regurgitate a lot of Dr. Umar talking points. People send me clips. People send me clips of some of these YouTubian opportunists, so-called life coaches, and I'm seeing some of them quote me verbatim without giving credit to their source. And some of them claim to not even like me. So why are you quoting my material and not referencing me? You obviously watch me. You obviously watch me because too much of my material is coming out of your mouth. It's a whole group. There's at least 12. I think I've counted 12 different YouTubian beta male wannabe life coaches that are out there slandering black women, attacking black women, degrading black women. I count about a dozen. I'm going to call them the dirty dozen of division. The triple D, the dirty dozen of division. There's about 12 members of the dirty dozen of division, 12 beta males, YouTube life coaches who are trying to build a platform by making black women feel bad. I don't like it. 
I, I, I can't appreciate black men trying to make a dollar off of making black women feel bad. And unfortunately, our black women, some of them are so thirsty for validation that they're participating. They're participating in the attacks and slander against the black female community. And that's not acceptable. All right. So you guys just saw what Umar Johnson had to say. And supposedly all of this beef started because Kevin Samuels took a call from somebody and they're basically saying to him, why don't you act more like Umar Johnson? And so Kevin Samuels started throwing a lot of shade. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Right? You mean I Dr. Umar Johnson, the man yes. who has two children by two different women that he never married? Dr. Umar Johnson. Yeah. The guy that for the last 10 years has not built brick one of a school he's collected money from. Dr. Umar, hold, on, hold on, ma'am. Dr. Umar Johnson, oh. the man who calls you queen, mother, goddess, and all this other kind of stuff. And again, for those who are keeping score, this is another woman who comes on and says, talk to us more like Umar. The Prince of Pan African, Big Papa's in the house. Run my donations. I mean, shout out to Umar. I got no problem with the dude, but I think it's funny. Y'all keep coming over here asking everybody to talk like Umar. Queen Mother Garland. Cocoa Butter and Seamoss Gold and shit. All right, so you guys just saw what Kevin Samuels had to say. So that's where everybody's saying that the beef is starting. So this entire situation, honey, is a hot damn mess. So now let me go ahead and say this. Um, I've, I don't get offended by anything I've seen from Kevin Samuels. I feel like this is nothing new, and I don't understand, like, why um, he's blowing up behind this because it's been done before. If you've been on the Internet for any length of time, there were men before years ago, and they still do it to this day, who talked about black women, who talk about the black community, who talked about things that need to change. You know, some people liked them, some people didn't like them. But it's funny that basically Kevin Samuels has remixed what a lot of these black guys have been saying on YouTube, and he's basically dresses nice. You know, he puts on a nice suit, turtleneck. You know, he carries himself a little bit more classy, quote unquote, compared to some of the other black male YouTubers. But he's not saying anything new. That He's not saying anything that I haven't heard on social media for years, especially pertaining to black women in the black community. You know, so I just don't understand why he's viral and he's being propped up in the mainstream. But, you know, hey, kudos to him. He broke the third wall and he made it mainstream by doing this type of commentary, by taking in these type of uh, calls. Now, I will say this. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.